I love that. That's actually super bleak, isn't it? Ba bum, big open block chords. Ba bum, ba bum, bum, ba bum. It's very slow. And I think this is obviously the introduction of this character, the uh, all devouring narwhal. This is a uh, uh, welcoming in this conflict. It's almost like it, it's sort of. Maybe this is that moment that it bursts out of the screen and it comes towards the, the player. Very much setup music with these big block chords. And uh, this rhythmic pattern is, uh, you know, supposed to be a little bit intense, but not obviously uh, as intense as a proper battle theme. This is very, 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 uh, you know, thought provoking. <laughs> Wow, you like that? That's a that's ethereal. That's the stars. That's the abyss, right? And then as you start to have this propulsion, where we end up is we get a feeling of of anticipation and a feeling of like, oh boy, here we go, right? And that's that's the real feeling that comes across here. That's really satisfying. Love the way that that piano cascades down the scale. Gorgeous horns. So that's a clear example of a crescendo. And if you don't know what a crescendo is, a crescendo in Italian means to grow. A crescendo is a growth of volume. A crescendo is a... But that's a crescendo. Really like this intro. Wow, that's interesting. Interesting space there. Bum. We had a firm. We had a, a caesura. We reset. We had a, a space of silence. Again, silence being pivotally important to setting tension, creating feelings of discomfort. And then we are now as we launch into phase one. <laughs> oh, boom, chicka, ba, ba. That is heralding. That is heralding the narwhal's approach. That is huge. Ba ba. The sheer size of this thing. Ba ba. Oh my God! It's huge. You know. hear that right there that is the beginnings of that narwhal theme um also love how this really is, uh, is still this proclamatory inviting thing where we are witnessing the narwhal rather than rather than directly fighting it per se this is really the narwhal's theme this is not about us in any sort of way this big boom checked up boom very rhythmic, very for Ooh, this is juicy. So this is interesting because this is very clearly going to be a very orchestral uh, theme, which I'm very glad for because... You know, we don't want to be too edm -y all the time. We don't want to be too hard rocky all the time. This is very rooted in classical music, which is exciting. I swell there. Oh my God! Yes, you guys. Oh, so this is this is your your evil chorus. Oh, I love that. Listen to the, how straight that tone is. Hold on. So then we have a big pause here. It's so clean. There's no vibrato in here. Oh. It's 
Isn't that gorgeous? You have this beautiful, full male bass, bass baritone sound quality. And then you have the doubling in what sounds to be either a cello or a viola. And that's portraying the abyss. That is portraying this evil quality, which is something we hear in video game music all the time. Men rarely symbolize positivity when it comes to video game music. And in this particular case, you just hear the size. And again, it's all about hearing the size of the narwhal. Big, 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 big. But also, um, because it's so big and because it's so heavy, you want to have uh, the bass quality really leaning into this. Now, Tartaglia is much more of a tenor, much more of a tenor sound quality. So having this lower brass is a, a lower a bass and, well, and brass um, is a really nice juxtaposition. Oh my God, that's cool. Also, it's slightly a slightly modified da ya da ya da, which I love. That's so cool. <laughs> All right. This is so good. Listen to listen listen to this. There's so much desperation in here right here. Ooh. We're stacking. Oh my god, the harmony there in the upper voices, the upper men. way the sopranos come in right there listen to that the dissonance It's interesting because we, we don't really um, feel aligned with the meter. The meter's sort of all over the place, and I think that that's multiple reasons for that. I think, first of all, we have this big, big, slow rhythm, which is very much representative of that narwhal. And then also the fact that we have this bit 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 in the piano, uh, that represents the abyss, that represents this, the fact that we're sort of in this, like, giant space that has no real, like, you know, there, there's no, like... It, there's no place it's just an empty place it's just a void right and so there's there's a there's a there's an inherent feeling of uh we can't grab onto anything there's no like buildings and stuff it's just a wide open space but it's like melty goo kind of starlight situation so it's it's very interesting that that the piano in here represents that. I also think that we really get um a sound quality of of terror and a little bit of like like a loss of control we like almost like we don't have any power but again that slow plotty thing is really 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 fun um man that is dope <laughs> yeah and that and that and that that tone quality yada yada it's funny because da da yada is a da 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 yada da da yada. We hear that I believe in Tartaglia's theme, uh, so the musical connection to Tartaglia is really really satisfying. That's tension. That's horror music in a way. The way that that. Much more ominous.
big swell. It's all teasing that, like, you know, I used to call this the Harbinger theme, but I wonder if it isn't the Abyss theme. Da, 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 ya, da, ya, da, ya, da. It's very, da, da, very, very reminiscent of Phase 3 of Tartaglia's theme, or Phase phase 2, Phase 3. But this is a, I love that we're not moving away from traditional instruments. Obviously we're getting, we're actually getting a lot of creepy strings in here. We're getting a lot of feelings of discomfort and terror in here. And, and you're, you're hearing creepy strings. You're hearing discomfort. You're hearing that the way that those upper violins are pulling on that sound quality. It's very intense. So obviously this is an alternate version of that, but but essentially it's the same, but there's a little bit of difference. I actually think that this alter, alternate narwhal phase, which I don't know why it's an alternate, whatever, um, is way scarier uh, than the first one, that's much more rooted in, 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 a, in a horror scary element there in the way that we're using the men. And also just that, notice that most of this little corner doesn't, it really doesn't like have a rhythmic propulsion. It's so it's it's a bit amorphous, which I think is the intention here because we can't really put a finger on, you know, we don't know what the abyss is in terms of like it's you know, uh, material. It it feels very like otherworldly and it doesn't feel like it's a it's a material that we can grab onto or hold. It's very, you know, other ethereal, very otherworldly like I said, very you just can't put your finger on it and so there's it, it's very like Wooshy wooshy. <laughs> and that's a really fun call call and response. Lucy, Lucy, cool. And also the way that the vocals, it would have been really fun, just as an aside, if it went, well, that's just Scaramouche, but something about the cascading down would have been really interesting. But this is also really nice because we're taking big measure, big, big notes and going, and in, in whole notes or half notes really stretching that so there, there's a bit of tension there even in so we can think of tension in two ways either really fast rhythmically or sometimes depending on what's happening in this particular case we have tension with long notes which is really cool <laughs> Also, the fact that this is really high in pitch. That's very, 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 very exciting because of where the range is for the tenors and the sopranos. It feels more intense because of the fact that we're in the upper range of the upper males and then we're in the higher range of the sopranos. It's really satisfying. <laughs> That's spinning there of the violins. Tension, spinning of the violins. Dissonance there. Big 
big brass there. Now we're moving into uh, talk, talk, talker phase, talker phase. Yeah, let me. You're not, you can't. You can't escape EDM where we are right now. And and there is like a quality there of the way that it grinds with this, the audio design there. It it almost grind, grates against the ears with that. It's really like really bassy, um, incredibly resonant, and uh, it it just like kind of vibrates through your whole body. Here we go with that rhythm. No, oh, big bit. Bro, that's cool. Bop, pop. Almost sounded like my headphones broke. That's so exciting. Bop. Think it's gonna go somewhere? It doesn't. Cesura, big swell. Oh. Sounds like Skrillex. Sounds like breathing, you know? Like a really ruthless quality about it. Big dance beat here. The whale sounds. These are whale sounds. I mean, it really leans on the enormity of this thing. And, and it's interesting, too, because it, it has a quality there. It, literally, that's basically just whale sounds there that they essentially turned into music. Um, that part's really cool. Bop, tsh, pop. Definitely feel like the Scaramouche battle theme has some major, major, major uh, competition here with this one. I'm not sure that I love the fact that we don't have, like, forward propulsion for a lot of it we're really leaning on the size of that whale and the quality uh musically of this like profundity of this and and not because it, we're deep underwater or something but i also find that this this trappy skrillex like dance this is very interesting it just doesn't re it doesn't move per se it doesn't have a forward momentum it's not like a bop per se it really leans on this sort of edm -y, horror music which we really don't ever hear um yeah i yeah i want to sit with this more it's so interesting i can't wait to hear this in context um that was cool i kind of don't have words for it uh if you like this well there's a lot of genshin on the channel feel free to like subscribe and uh i'll see you later bye